Stem cell transplants can be the best hope for a cure from diseases like leukemia. Too often, though, rejection or graft versus host disease follows, and it can be deadlier than the original disease. A researcher in Seattle is encouraged by a new combination of therapies that may prevent GVHD altogether. KSAT 12's Katrina Weber explains how it works. It has been 181 days since Noah has been home. The Ferguson family chronicled Noah's battle against leukemia, then graft versus host disease, or GVHD, in this book. It's a thick one. He had already gone through cancer, and he had gone through chemo, and had gone through all of this. And by far our hardest battle was his graft versus host disease. Doctors wanted Noah to get a small amount of GVHD from his stem cell transplant to eliminate remaining cancer cells. But the disease invaded his liver and gut. He was in and out of the hospital with complications for months. He truly has some long-term digestive issues that could come back and that could cause problems down the road. Childhood cancer researcher Dr. Leslie Keen has worked her entire career to find something to prevent GVHD. She found that therapies that eliminate bad T cells suppress good ones too, until now. The immunosuppressant rapamycin and an experimental antibody called KY1005 work together to block pathways and prevent GVHD in animal tests. Rapamycin is partially effective by itself. KY1005 was partially effective by itself, but when we put them together is when we really saw the really amazing activity. Noah's family is excited about the trial's potential. Maybe someday Noah will help when he grows up to be a doctor. I've been through so much with all the doctors' help, and I want to help some other kids too. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. The biotherapeutic company Kimab in England is running a phase one trial of the antibody combination on people with psoriasis right now. Dr. Keen hopes to start designing a GVHD study for KY1005 and rapamycin within the next year.